an American cockroach outside. And they're all over because they're inside the mulch, the mulch areas in the landscape, all over the house. And here are ways that these roaches get in the house. Let me show you. Okay, so we're looking at a home that has dense shrubbery, mulch, lots of organic matter around it. It is surrounded by mulch, dense shrubbery, plants, okay? This is a lot of material up against the house that is organic matter creating a haven for pests. I mean, look how dense that is. We're in a subtropical environment in South Florida. And here you have, and then on top of that, we have water. We have a canal in the back. So we have everything a pest needs to survive. There's water, there's harborage, there's organic matter. So there's insects in there they can eat, broken down material. Let me show you. And so insects like roaches, rodents, are going to love this place. And then what you've got to do is you've got to have, you know, like I said, you have water. It's a great place to have hundreds and hundreds of insect problems on a continual basis. All right, now what we have to do is we add this house has a crawl space. And as you can see, the screens are all damaged. So rodents and insects are making it in through the house through that crawl space. Let's see another problem how they're getting in. You can see that door. There's a gap underneath that door. There's no threshold. And insects can easily, there's easily a half inch to a three quarter inch gap with no threshold on the other side. You can see the tile and the concrete on the other side. So roaches are getting into this place because of the crawl space, because of the easy access they have. They're living here densely uh, because of the environment that they're in. And what the mentality is well, if you're spraying every month, I shouldn't have roaches. And what you got to understand about chemical in a South Florida subtropical environment, in an alkaline soil where it eats up the pesticide and concrete around it and pavers that eat up the, the pesticide, is that pest is only going to bring down the population. It, it's about bringing down the population to where the chances of an insect getting into your house is very low. Second, it's not going to last more than 30 days. So if you've got a quarterly service, you're not going to get control for three months with a pesticide that only lasts about 30 days when you have the neighboring property four to five feet from yours, and that's not being protected. So the idea is that you have to fix all these problems and exclude the pest from the home by not allowing them to get in in combination with a sound pest management program either on a monthly or bi-monthly basis here in South Florida.